Both. I was sent from the Palais Mermonia. Nivellette? She wants to see us again already? Huh. I am not privy to the details. It would be best if you came to the Palais... Mm, if you say so, but... Hyman has a bad... <sighs> now that I've delivered the message, I'll take my leave. Thanks! We haven't left the room for a few days, so we'll head over once we've freshened up a bit. Yes, I did send someone to fetch you. But as for what I'd like to discuss next... Well, I still have some reservations. Given that we've already made the trip here, you should just tell us. But you need us to help you with something, right? I do indeed have something I'd like to ask you to do. However, you should wait until after I tell you the details, then decide for yourselves whether you'd like to help or not. The situation is this. It has come to my attention that the Snezhnayan harbinger known as the Knave wants a diplomatic meeting with you, correct? I heard that she was originally from Fontaine, but for her to suddenly arrive here and abruptly request such a meeting like this, I sincerely advise you to refuse her invitation outright. Hmm. I'm sure you're aware that her purpose is most likely related to Child's recent predi- We convicted one of the Snezhnayan harbingers in a court of law but we have yet to provide any form of detailed- I believe we should adopt an evasive stance until we can provide a proper explanation. No, we shouldn't. I think we should agree to the meeting. Oh? Well, you see, we are the ones that owe an explanation. If we- it's like- like a fight between two friends. Though diplomatic relations between Fontaine and Snezhnaya could be considered as friendly, it is- <sighs> It was just an analogy. 
An analogy, okay? Moreover, even if we were to talk in person, if we don't have sufficient information prepared, it is... Hmm... I don't think we should overthink those possibilities yet. Ahem. Besides, you'll be at the meeting. If any problems do pop up, you'll have no problem navigating them. I must clarify that interacting and communicating with people outside of court is not my... But more importantly, when did I agree to join the meeting with you? <laughs> you mean you won't come? No, 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 that, that won't do. I can't go to the meeting alone. You have to accompany me. Lady Farina, could there be something else regarding this matter that is being kept from me? No, not at all. Look, I am the Hydro Archon of Fontaine, Fosalor, the god of justice who is loved and adored by many. So I only hope that justice will be served in this matter. Don't overthink it. I'll go find someone to arrange the meeting. <sighs> Though it could officially be considered a diplomatic conference, I prefer to see our meeting today as an ordinary tea party. I assume you see it the same way, Miss Farina? Hmm. Lady Farina? Uh, oh! <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Just like you said, a tea party. <laughs> I should do make this tea party even more li It's a pleasure to meet you, Monsieur Nuvillette. I was born in Fontaine, so naturally there is no need to introduce- Hello. The pleasure is also mine. First, I would like to thank the two of you. I'm often away on business outside of Fontaine, and I'm told that the children of the- uh... Oh. I'm not referring to when my children, Linny and Lynette, were falsely accused by you. The children of the House of the Hearth are often misunderstood. Perhaps due to the reputation of the Fatui. All I meant to say is that Fontaine has been stable in recent years. That is something truly worth cherishing. Now then, you have come regarding the matter of child. Well, yes. It appears the ever-busy Udex Nouvellette does- yes. As you surmised, understanding child's situation is indeed one of the goals of this trip. As we are both diplomats from Snezhnaya, as well as Fatui Harbingers, Child and I have always been colleagues. Were anything to happen in Fontaine, each of us would serve as the other's attorney to resolve the issue. So now, in my capacity as his attorney, I request that Child be turned over to Snezhnaya. We have a the rules governing attorneys only apply before a trial has concluded. Since a verdict has already been rendered... An outright refusal. Very well. Okay, why don't we back up a step? You don't need to transfer child to us. I only request to enter the fortress of... It's not like you couldn't even manage to fulfill a simple request like that. Right. Uh, um, about that. The Fortress of Meropede has always been completely autonomous. Even we have no authority to interfere there. However, if you absolutely must confirm the situation... The knave showed up already? Well, Linny did say that Father will be returning soon. We didn't even know that Linny was from the House of the Hearth at the time. So we kind of overlooked it. Yes, thank you for your kind advice. I also noticed that Lady Farina acts a little odd and unnatural whenever I bring up matters related to the knave. Could the knave be? If that were the case, then why wouldn't Lady Farina inform me? Hmm, so maybe that's not very likely. It In reality, this problem is even more thorny than it appears. According to- The details are still unclear. We cannot rule out an escape. But there have also been no reports of it. Special guards oversee the fortress, and its internal systems are extensive. Combined with the I was only willing to share this information with you because you are friends of child. So this is what you wanted to see us about before? Yes. I would like you to go to the fortress of- This was my proposal during our meeting with the Knave. Rather than allowing her to intervene, 
I offered to send someone to find out about Child's situation and report back to her in detail. The knave did not seem satisfied by my proposal, but she still agreed to go along with it for the time being. So that means we bought ourselves some time! Firstly, you're already acquainted with Child. Your eyes may discern relevant details there that- And secondly, is the consideration of the unique- Isn't it just Fontaine's prison? I would not define it so crudely. The Fortress of Meripede is not affiliated with the- Early in Fontaine's history, criminals were punished with exile, not imprisonment. Even today, sentences against convicted criminals- The Fortress of Meripede may seem like a prison, but it should in fact be regarded as all we do is dispatch guards to keep watch and help maintain security. Although I do have a personal relationship with the administrator there. Oh, Paimon gets it now. That's why you need- Correct. I will arrange false charges against you so that you may secretly- So, are you two willing to- Yeah, no matter how you look at it, it seems we're the best choice. You two have my sincere thanks. This matter is of critical importance to Fontaine's current situation. Also, I hope that both of- We will rendezvous at the Fortress of Meropede's entrance on Erinaeus once you've prepared yourselves. Prepared ourselves? Perhaps you could enjoy a good meal and have a nice bath. I'm a- All right! Even though we'll be there on trumped up charges! Uh... I'm Please do not worry. Since you are sacrificing both your time and quality, you will be compensated according to the highest standards permitted. Now that's more like it! Come on, Traveler, let's go eat the- Are you leaving now? In that case, please take this cake as a token. to a case to eat here, and I was planning to get some great material out of him, but he didn't even show up. Ah, calm down, calm down. This is nothing new. As a journalist, you should be used to this by now. As long as you can score some juicy tidbits from the Traveler, you might still be able to recover the cost of the meal. Uh, you know we can still hear you, Charlotte. <laughs> uh, never mind, it's nothing. I just heard you mention the Fortress of Meripede. You didn't commit a crime, did you? Please tell me all about it. No way! We would never! We're just... Uh... Um... Oh no, Paimon almost forgot that Nevelette told us to keep it a secret! Huh? You're being arrested for that? Oh... But now that I think about it, I suppose that's not completely unre... Uh, you mean Paimon really did something that serious? Sorry, Paimon really messed up. Well, in that case, it's nothing particularly newsworthy after all. Oh, how disappointing. All oh, right, there's still a chance. Uh, since you're going to be at the Fortress of Merope... Um, about that. Oh, it's nothing difficult. All you have to do is think of a way to get some time faced... He was awarded the honorary title of Duke in Fontaine. Sounds really cool, huh? Only those who have made significant contributions to the nation have been conf- On top of that, the Fortress of Meripede has never been under the jurisdiction of the courts. Practically nobody- Oh, if I could write an exclusive article about him, I bet it- You make it sound easy, but it really depends. 
Of course. I wouldn't ask you to do it for free. So this meal is on... All right, you got a deal. We'll do anything you want. <laughs> then it's settled. The food should be here any second, right? Huh? Wait, just how much did you order? didn't she? have come, just as promised. Yes, this is the one and only entrance to the fortress of Meripede from Erinaeus. Careful, you may want to step back a bit. Whoa! So you have to go down from here? Is the prison underwater? Utilizing both the barrier of the water as well as the fear humans have of the depths, the fortress- But do not worry, it is not nearly as fr- Uh, Paimon hopes you're- Oh, and there's one more thing. I mentioned that I have had personal dealings with the administrator of the fortress, Rithesley. Yeah, we heard about him too! Correct. He is the highest ranking manager of the underwater prison. Even though the Duke rarely ever leaves the fortress of Meripede, but that does not mean he is not privy to all that is happening. All right, it's about all the time that we have to talk- Don't worry, we won't let you down! Good. <clears throat> I'm here, Monsieur Nervalet. These two are the newest convicts, I presume? <laughs> Like we would try. Please follow me, you two. I'll process your paper. a criminal in Fontaine. You two seem to be taking this pretty well. <laughs> it's rare to see convicts in such a good mood. Monsieur Nervalet personally requested I escort these two. <laughs> well, now, aren't you the lucky one? Well, have you tried service with a smile? <laughs> yeah, right. As if. Every criminal comes through here looking. M and even if I did smile at them, the convicts. Oh, she's got a point. Well, I've finished transferring you. You two will register here. <sighs> yep. I'll take it from here. Okay, let me see. You are- That would be us! Let me confirm your charges and sentence. Eating a cake specially prepared for the Archon by a Snezhnayan envoy without the Archon's permission, thereby incapacitating the- Huh? Wait! Just looking at the charges, 
It seems you two are capable of causing some... And considering how fond Lady Furina is of sweets, now I've seen everything. <laughs> anyway, please stand in front of the board over there. I'll take... And we're done. Thank you for your cooperation. Next, someone will be along to guide you inside the fortress. Please be- Huh? Rebirth? You two are the new inmates, right? Follow me. Oh, okay. Paimon is Paimon and this is the Traveler. Save it. Not like I'll remember your names. Guards here? Uh, did Paimon. Why should I tell you anything? What's in it for. <sighs> this is exactly why I can't stand new fish. I wouldn't even be doing this if it weren't for the credit coupons. Credit coupons? Alright, seeing as you're not the annoying kind that's getting dragged in here crying and blubbering, Mora means nothing here. Here? We use credit coupons. Coupons can get you almost anything in the Fortress of Meripede. Desires? So, credit coupons are a currency that can only- It's not as simple as that. Like Moret said, everyone gets a chance at rebirth. No matter how much money or power you had before, it means nothing once you- Everyone starts from the same place, and you have a chance at- I guess that's the real purpose of the coupons. They symbolize true fairness, and this is also exactly why so many criminals choose not to return to the outside world, even after they've served their sentence. Oh, so that's what the Fortress of Meripede is like. It certainly ain't all sunshine and roses here, but it's also not the worst place to be. You'd better take a good look at the scenery now. It'll be the last chance you get for a while. After being away from the sunlight for so long, even the terrifying depths of the sea start to feel like home. Oh, I'm actually an inmate like you two. Welcoming newcomers is a job I've picked up to earn some extra- Uh, why aren't you answering us again? I've told you enough for free. Any more info is gonna cost you. So all you care about is Mora! Wait, no. Almost there. It's down through here. like a metaphor for your previous life, isn't it? <laughs> Our lives weren't that bad! Thank you. 
So this is the actual entrance to the Fortress of Meribead? Huh. It looks like there are other new arrivals, too. Oh, they sure don't look happy. Uh, maybe we look too rela- Oh, right. We're on someone else's territory now. If we're discovered, even Nervalette might not be able to rescue us. Hey, don't scare Paimon. Oh, Paimon's not ready for all this. Uh, look, I don't really know you. And I have no idea what kind of crime you committed, but... Uh, someone important? Now's not the time to worry about that. Anyway, it's over there, so... You just go on over there by yourselves. I've done my job, so... Good luck. What was that all about? Uh, wait a second. Are there usually so many garter racks around here? They're already on to us? Prisoners numbers 7459 and 7560. Welcome. Oh, no need to be anxious. These guard mechs aren't... When I heard that you were friends of Monsieur Nervillette, I had the guard mechs come and wait... Wait! You know about our connection with Nervillette? The seafloor isn't as cut off from the world as you might imagine. However, I'm afraid that I know nothing more than that you are friends of the Udex. And, as you can see, committing a crime means being sentenced here. Even if your friends... The, the Duke! Uh, greetings, Your Grace! L lovely weather today! Oh, greetings, my good fellow. Well, I'm willing to imagine that the weather is as good outside the sea as you- Ah, my profuse apologies. So this is the Duke. The Traveler and Paimon, correct? Mr. Deacon here was res- Ah, I see. In that case, I regret to announce that Deacon here has just missed the best opp- I, uh... I admit that I was only thinking about the coupons. I'm sorry to have disappointed you, Your Grace. <sighs> I had no idea you two were big shots who were worthy of speaking with his plenty of time ahead, Deacon. There'll be more opportunities. Well, I believe that concludes the introductions. We've already taken enough time here. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take my leave now. Please, follow me. To make you feel more welcome, I'll show you around the various facilities of the Fortress of Meripede. He's going to personally give us a cure? No wonder Charlotte's so interested in him. He's one of those mysterious types. Alright, let's keep up with him. There's no need to be so reserved. The label of criminal is nothing but one of many identities. And being criminally inclined here at the fortress is just one of many ways to survive. Uh, is it really okay for the warden to think like that? We're- <laughs> Well, then maybe you'll be able to carve out a name and a place for yourselves in this- But, before you go in swinging, please remember that in the fortress of Meripede, it's better to- Now, we've arrived at a very important place. The Coupon Cafeteria. You can come here and claim one welfare meal each day. Welfare meal? You mean, it doesn't cost anything? That's right. Criminals are essential to fortress operations, so we must guarantee- <laughs> But that's not how it was. Back in the day, it cost your reward coupons just to get a cup of water here. For fish like you who just arrived with nothing, you have to go to work hungry until you earned enough coupons to eat. It was only after His Grace became the administrator that we got the free meal rule. Now everyone gets a square meal every day, even no good slackers who've never- In the Fortress of Meripede, credit coupons are the only currency, and everything must be purchased. But trade is always conducted by people. So if we want- If nobody could even afford a meal, then the whole fortress would be up in arms. So, rather than saying that we're giving everyone a free meal here, your Grace's reasoning is correct, but what I said is also true. Whatever the case, hard work is rewarded here. Right! Pilot sees your point. By that logic... Oh, wait, no. We shouldn't drop our guard so quickly. But it seems the inmates really... Uh, let's continue this way.
This place is known as the Pancration Ring. Sometimes we have criminals who have more energy than they know what to do with. So, instead of leaving them to their own devices, we've provided them with this dedicated venue. This way, nobody will get involved unless they want to be. Pancration matches? And you can earn extra coupons? Oh, what do you think, Traveler? Interested? But I must warn you that your sentence will be extended if you fail to restrain yourself and end up seriously injuring or killing your opponent. So, did you set this place up too? No, actually. I just granted approval for the organizer to use this area to build the ring, and I collect a portion of the proceeds in return. Of course, the fees are also quite useful. Oh. Do you mind if we ask what they're used for? Sure. Ensuring personal safety, maintaining the arena, and resolving any conflicts that arise. Why? Are you interested in how to- Oh, no, no! Paimo was just wondering if that's how you paid for everyone- A reasonable guess. I see you have a talent for entrepreneurship. Oh, you hear that? Paimo has a talent! That is something you can discuss between yourselves later. Let's move on for now. Grace, good morning. I, I mean, good afternoon. No, wait, what time is it again? What time indeed? Time waits for no one, so it's best to keep an eye on it. Ah, my, my apologies, Your Grace. <sighs> Jeez, that guy's so nervous he almost forgot to breathe. <sighs> Sorry, forgive my manners. These are the dormitories, which is where inmates sleep. The guards will inform you where your bunk is later. In the fortress of Meripede, criminals usually spend most of their time in either the production zone or the sleeping areas. The production zone? What does it produce? Is that where we'll be working? Not necessarily. Though working in the production zone is the most reliable way to earn credit coupons, if you have other skills, you can skip your shifts to earn them in other ways. The fact that the Fortress of Meripede has continued operating completely autonomously is proof enough that most people are willing to work honestly and earn a stable income. As for what we produce, many of the clockwork machines seen all over Fontaine originate from our workshop. Therefore, the Fortress of Meripede is not only a place where criminals serve their sentences, but also a giant machine factory. There's no need for me to get into specifics about the production process now. You'll experience it all firsthand when you report for work tomorrow. Let's move on. The tour continues over this way. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh! Oh, uh you really scared me there. I didn't expect to see you here. The only thing you should be seeing is the work in front of you. Stay focused and keep up. Oh? Is something the matter? Uh, <laughs> it's nothing, but...
Grace? What are you doing in the infirmary at a time? Not yet, unfortunately for you. Oh. <laughs> then you must be... Allow me to introduce you. This is the infirmary. <laughs> Hello, new faces. They call me the head nurse, but I actually handle all the nurse-related work all by... Since you seem to have some rare downtime with no patients, perhaps you could find the time to join us for dinner? Oh, then these two must be some important... Thank you. Your presence will be the pièce de résistance for today's tour. Oh, so the tour part is over now? I believe I've already covered the primary aspects of life here in the fortress. As for your war, I seldom conduct tours, so why don't you just... Uh, well, this is your first time here. Then let's head back to the coupon cafeteria. Maybe a meal will... You should at least try to be excited. Our free meals are actually... What do you think of the food? Wow! It looks delicious! Never it made it sound like living conditions in the- Oh! Isn't that the meal box that only super lucky people man- It actually has nothing to do with luck in this case. I had a word with Walsey, so you didn't have- Oh! You mean the meals are random? Yes. What you get to eat depends completely on your luck. You could- I'm knew it! If criminals got to eat tasty food like this every meal, excuse me, did I hear you mention Nervulet just now? Oh, I've been wondering. He seems healthy no matter how you look at him, but he works so hard all the time, so. It sounds like he hasn't changed a bit. Looks like you can stop worrying so much, Sejuine. Oh, that's good. But I still feel like it's been too long since I've. No news is good news. Maybe next time I've got something to discuss with him, I can invite you to accompany us. Hmm? Fortress of Meropede independent from Fontaine's court system? Well, we provide all kinds of mechanical products for official use, and some essential goods have to be obtained from the- Monsieur Nivellet's character is unimpeachable. No matter the question, you can discuss it openly and freely with him. In light of that, I am quite willing to go out of my way to show respect and accommodate him. In fact, right now, I'm treating you two as guests invited by Monsieur Nivellet. After this, you two will just be inmates here. You're very welcome. Well, your new life awaits. Grab yourself a welfare meal.
Traveler and Paimon, right? Listen up. There's a new Windmaker. Bunks are right over there. Follow me. So this is where we'll be sleeping from now on. Oh, Paimon can't believe this! Oh, but Dave, uh, by the way, Traveler, we saw a lot of things worth investigating. Even though the Duke didn't say it too directly, judging from what he said at the end, we are criminals, and Paimon did eat that cake. But we're at- Hmm. Is it possible that he knows we're here on a mission? Yeah, Paimon thinks so too. He probably knew why we came here from the maybe something like, Hey, I have my eyes on you. Yeah, you're right. It's not like we can go back to Nivellet empty-handed and say, The dude looks scary, so we gave up. Uh, and besides, the Duke said that he was willing to go out of his way to show respect for Nervalette, right? So, we at least need to try. But, huh? you mean... Yeah, that's what Paimon was thinking too! Paimon almost spilled the beans when we ran into him. Fortunately, based on his attitude, it looks like the Duke sees Linny as just another inmate. We worked so hard to help clear Linny and Lynette's names, and yet we turn around and BAM! He's in- Oh, right! Linny and Lynette are from the House of the Hearth. They work for the Knaves, so they could be here to investigate too! Huh? Oh, it's a card! Paimon didn't notice it earlier! Hmm... It looks like a magician's prop. Lenny must have left it here. He's in prison and still doing his little tricks, huh? Let Paimon have a look. It was nice to bump into you again. Let's catch up in the production zone tomorrow. What in the world? It's really like he's greeting a buddy on the street. Paimon thought he'd write something important! If you say so. We can ask him what's going on tomorrow. Let's get some rest now. Hey, you're finally awake! Well, it's Paimon's first day as a prisoner. Last night, Paimon dreamed about getting interrogated by the guards until Paimon told them everything and then Paimon woke up. Hey, come on! It's just Okay, Paimon wouldn't really squeal. Maybe. Hey, lazy bones, what are you still doing here? If you don't want to starve, then get yourselves over to the production zone. Ah, uh, sorry, we're going right away.
Ah, you must be the catch of the day. Looks like you've got some luck getting assigned this space. Yep, we just arrived yesterday and... Don't interrupt me when I'm speaking! Yes, sir. Listen carefully to my instructions. I don't want any mishaps. Every machine here is worth more than the both of you. Working around these machines can be very dangerous. Do your job well, and you can eat in the cafeteria after you- Anyway, the Fortress of Merope doesn't want to lose a single one of its machines. And it also doesn't want to waste the- Got it! Your job is to use the machine over there to process widgets. Watch carefully, and make sure you step on the pedal at the right time. If the machine gets jammed, then give a- Here, take this. Bring me the process widgets, and I'll give you some credit coupons in exchange. This one is... tolerable. Though, since the processing is done by machine, the- Alright, I'll pass you for now. And we'll count up how many credit coupons you've earned. <sighs> I'm exhausted. We're done- Ugh. Even though Paimon's starving and wants to head straight to the coupon, he probably just finished up his work, too. scare so easily now? Is there something worrying you these days? You little... The only thing we're worried about was trying to find you! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Come over here and keep it down. Oh, Lynette! You're here too! You two really are inseparable. That's right. My brother simply can't stand to be away from me. Uh, it's not just Lynette. Fremenet is also here. Oh! You mean that diver from the House of the Hearth, right? Now hurry up and tell us. How did you end up as criminals this time? We fought- Sadly, even the teeniest of things can land you in prison these days. I put you- And then? Next, I invited several audience members to participate in the show. And then, my brother was charged with theft, and I was charged as his accomplice. It really isn't that bad. The missing wallets are all in the leftmost drawer of the Maison Guardianages. Yep, we should be released then. In terms of the magic trick itself, I think the performance went perfect. <sighs> Leave it to Lenny 
need to magic himself into prison. Indeed. Last time I hid my identity from you, I promised that I'd tell you absolutely everything if you... So I don't plan on keeping anything from you this time either. At the moment, the House of the Hearth's interests don't conflict with yours at all. We were instructed by the father of our house, the Knave, to come here and conduct an investigation. <gasps> Told you so! See? Paimon guessed right! As for what we're investigating, perhaps you haven't heard, but the Fortress of Meropede hides a secret. Some even say that the entire fortress exists just to protect it. The House of the Hearth has been investigating this for a very long time, but recently, all of our informants, including the ones that had infiltrated the guards, suddenly vanished and have not been heard from since. We believe that this is a direct provocation, and it's the reason why we came here. Father has somehow managed to confirm that Fosalorus does not have Fontaine's Gnosis. Huh? How did she manage to learn information that important? Father has her ways. Many of them are beyond our imagination, and we've never had the chance to see her at work. But we- It was this information that led us to suspect that Fontaine's Gnosis might be in the fortress- So it's all about the Gnosis again. Well, that's about it from our side. How about you two? Did Monsieur Nervulet send- Bingo! The name has been applying a lot of pressure. She wants to know what happened to Child, so we came here to investigate- Uh... Traveler, are we allowed to tell them? <laughs> you don't need to worry too much about that. She's just asking for a report on Master Child's predicament as a means of pressuring. Father used this situation as a pretext to negotiate with two high-ranking officials in the Court of Fontaine. She actually just wants to be able to make concessions on this matter for gains elsewhere. Sometimes you need an excuse to do things you otherwise couldn't. And a harbinger is more valuable than you might imagine. Of course, it's not a complete farce. If we do manage to find out what happened to Master Child too, then diplomatic relations- Is it just Paimon? Or does it feel like we're the only ones who actually care about Child's situation? I wouldn't go that far. Father just has different standards than we do when it comes to what can be sacrificed for an advantage. Uh, by the way, even though we have different objectives, we're both here to investigate the Fortress of Meripede. It would be more efficient for us to work together. As you know, the House of the Hearth has many reasons to seek the Gnosis, but our highest priority remains resolving the prophesied crisis. You can trust us on that. See, I told you. Is that so? Hmm. Lenny seems to be thinking pretty hard about something. Of course he is. Lenny has been looking forward to a chance to reach an understanding with you, or... I should say, we were really looking forward to teaming- Lynette! Just tell them everything, why don't you? It's okay to open up a little. <laughs> Very prudent of you, and consistent with your behavior since we first met. I was prepared for the worst, but you were actually more agreeable than I anticipated. Since Lynette and I arrived here, our investigation uncovered that most people just clammed up and wouldn't talk, but after asking the right questions, we were able to confirm you should be aware of that while you're investigating. A Forbidden Zone? <gasps> Could that be where a child disappeared to? You're right, we'll definitely keep that in mind. Good. That's the most suspicious thing about the fortress that we know of so far. We have a few other unanswered questions, and we'll be investigating those as quickly as we can. Oh, look at the time. You two must be hungry. You should go to the coupon cafeteria and get something to eat. I'll use my cards to get in touch with you again in the future. Oh, that's just what Paimon wanted to hear! Paimon's starving after all that work today!
isn't kidding. Today's meal is nowhere near as good as last time. Ah, uh, forget about it then. We'll just deal with the regular... But life here doesn't seem all that bad. Other than the four... You think so, mate? <laughs> if I had a coupon for every fish who said that. Seems you fishies still haven't learned your lessons from your life up on the surface. If you take things at face value, then by the time you reach a dead end, you won't even... <laughs> I like your attitude. I can, uh, let you in on a little something. Everyone's been telling you to just follow the rules and not cause any trouble for yourself. Am I right? But what they don't tell you is that the rules aren't exactly what they pretend to be. The rules for being a prisoner. The truth is, this place has a lot of hidden rules. Huh? Hidden rules? What do you mean? Not everyone knows about those rules, but whether you know them or not, once you break one, you might encounter something even worse than death. Really? Of course. And I'd say that just disappearing would be one of the better outcomes. Oh, you mean that if there really are hidden rules, then child's disappearance might have something to do with that? Uh, in that case, would you tell us some hidden rules? We definitely want to avoid breaking them. <laughs> Come on, mate. This is valuable information. The difference between life and death. Paimon understands, but we don't have many credit coupons yet. Yeah, yeah, I know. Not like I'm going anywhere. Just come talk to me after you've saved enough. Moreover, your new fish, freshly caught and completely out of your element. What'd be the point in even telling you anything before you've gotten a handle on your new lives? Come and find me once you've been here longer. I'm usually around the rag and bone shop. Just call me V-Doc. Bye-bye now. He left. Just like that. Huh. Do you think he's just trying to scare us into buying fake information from him? Yeah. It might be a good place to start in our investigation. Hidden rules, huh? But... Like he said, we don't have any coupons, and we're still not familiar with this place. Oh, there's nothing we can do about it now. Ah, we were so busy talking, we almost forgot to eat. Even if it's not the best, it's probably better while it's warm. Come on, dig in before it gets cold. that our shift is set for every morning and we're free to do whatever we but it seems like most of the other inmates choose to continue working through the afternoon to earn more credit coupons oh and they also said that you can use coupons to skip work in the morning and free up your time they weren't kidding credit coupons really can be used to do anything here ah, Paimon's so tired hmm nighty night traveler Paimon hopes we can keep making progress on our invest-
that even possible? Unless... It wasn't an ordinary dream? Oh, <gasps> Child's vision! So you had it with you this whole time? Maybe the vision connected Child's consciousness to yours! And our investigation has its first major breakthrough! Good thing you brought the vision with you here. So what did you see in the dream? Do you know where Child went? Huh. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll be a bit more helpful in the future. What's more important now is that it's the start of another new day as prisoners! Let's do our best to earn more credit coupons! What's the plan for today? Let's go! It's time to start working! If that guard Fielding catches us skulking about, he's sure to give us an earful! Look who decided to show up! Get your butts in gear and get to work! Time's a-wasting! Good, here you go! Remember to give me the widget once you've- Fellow shift mates, I saw you finished your work, so I thought I'd come over and say hi. Oh, hey there! We've seen you before. Your assigned workspace is really close, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. The name's Rowan. This past few days, I couldn't help but notice the new faces working nearby. I guess I've been working here for almost 15 years. Even the foreman, Grainville, always calls me Chief. Whoa, you've been working here a long time, Chief. <laughs> If there's anything you'd like to know, just ask me. I know the work here in the production zone better than the back of my hand. All right, Chief. We'll be sure to come to you first. <sighs> Did you just ask about the rules? <laughs> Pretty sharp for newcomers. You've already heard about the rules, huh? Hmm. All right. Seeing as I'm the one who came over here, here the truth is. You two keep working like this? You might be putting- Huh? Wait, there's even a rule about that? Well, it's usually not that easy to break one on accident. The conditions of the hidden rules are usually pretty specific. But if you work continuously in the production zone for three days, and if all you do besides eating and sleeping is just work, then something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. Huh? Like what? <laughs> if I knew that, then I wouldn't be standing here talking to you. Now, you mean, even you have never tried working three days like that? There's actually a legend about this rule. They say that there was a worker who worked way harder than me. He was both efficient and eager on the job. One time, he tried to test his limits and worked as long as he could. He disappeared into thin air, as if he'd evaporated. Later... What the? How could that happen? Unfortunately, we were assigned different production zones. I never... Wait. Are you thinking that it was... Huh? Oh? You... <sighs> Listen, kid. This ain't the kind of thing you should be curious about. Yeah, I agree with Chief here. Do you really want to try? <sighs> All right, if you insist. Ugh. What is this garbage? Ooh, it looks disgusting. Oh, Paima misses your cooking now. What would you like to do this afternoon? Let's go! Credit coupons, here we come! Look who decided to show up! Get your butts in gear and get to work! Time's a-wasted! Good, here you go! Remember to give me the widget once you've finished processing it.
Let me have a look. Hmm, not bad. Seems we had a productive day. Hope we <sighs> the dawn of a new day. My mom feels like we're getting used to life as convicts. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? What do you have planned for us? Right, we just need to keep at it. Look who decided to show up! Get your butts in gear and get to work! Time's a-wasted! Oh? What's with suddenly wanting to work so hard? You need- Sure! Let's just say we really want to test our limits. did well today. What? Ooh, Paimon's had it. <sighs> That's it. Paimon doesn't even have the energy to talk anymore. Oh, Paimon's exhausted. It's just work. Wait a sec. Now that Paimon thinks about it, haven't we... Oh, Paimon feels a shiver going down her spine. But it doesn't seem like anything's changed at all. And we made it to the coupon cafeteria safely. Are the so-called hidden rules only a rumor after all? Well, there's no use to just guessing all day. Paimon's stomach has been grumbling the whole time. Let's just eat already. Paimon wonders what we'll get today. Maybe we'll get the super lucky meal. Wait, what? What? What in the world is this? What's with Paimon's food? And yours is the same. Is this stuff meat? But it looks and feels so bizarre. What kind of chef would make food like this? What do you think is going on? Is this the bad thing that Rowan was talking about? No, stop right there. Paimon gets what you mean, just don't say it. Hey, isn't that Woolsey over there? He must have made the food, right? So let's just ask him about the food and be done with it. Hey, Woolsey, have a moment? Hmm? What is it? I'm about to go report the numbers for today's free meal, so you'd better... Uh, it's about the meat in our meals. Look! The meat? Oh, that. Looks perfectly fine to me. Totally normal. You... Uh Ugh, what should we do now? Wolsey wouldn't even give us the time of day! Yeah, looks like we have no other choice. What would you like to do this afternoon? Yeah, Paimon felt like some of the people here were a little strange the moment she saw them. Oh, he hello. You two are the ones who were with his... No need to be so nervous. Sorry, I couldn't help but think of his grace once I saw you, and... Oh, it's hard to say. Maybe I am. He's got a very overwhelming presence. It makes me... Wait, seriously? 
Well, I'm always indecisive, and I tend to make a mess of things. It's like a reflex. I just instantly start to tense up the moment I see a smart and capable person like His Grace. What? P please, don't say anything like that out loud. How could you possibly think something like that? I was injured a bit just now. Uh, nothing major, I think I... Huh. Paimon wouldn't have thought someone as experienced as the ch... I just knew you would say that. This is pretty embarrassing. Uh, where is Siegeween when you need her anyway? The one time I need to make a quick trip to the infirmary. Oh, you mean she wasn't in the infirmary? Yeah. The rumors say that there's never anybody in the infirmary in the half hour before lunch. And nobody knows where Siegewing gets off to. Huh. That's actually really strange. Siegewing's always super dedicated to her work. Where else would she possibly go? Uh, forget it. I can take care of a small sprain like this on my own anyway. No need to trouble her. Wonderful. I was worried that you'd be busy trying to earn reward coupons all the time, but it's- Paimon likes having more coupons, but no one wants to work all the time. Have you also been investigating the area, Lynette? No, I was just slacking off, and you happened to catch me. My brother is still obsessed with anything remotely related to the Forbidden Zone. But knowing him, it won't be long before we get more leads. Oh, before I forget, this is for you. Huh? Credit coupons? Why are you giving us these? I've been here longer than you. Coupons aren't a resource in particularly short supply. What is in short supply are interesting people to talk with. Aw, that's so nice of you, Lynette. We'll be sure to make good use of these coupons then. Thanks a bunch! <laughs> That suspicious guy peeking into the infirmary just now. He must have dropped this. Let Paimon read it real quick! The Melisi perceive the world very differently from humans. As a result, their sense of aesthetics and beauty is also very different from that of humans. Whoa, this all sounds pretty serious. He sure did his homework! And as for the notebook, let's take it! Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon. <laughs> no need to tease me, okay? I won't trip on the same step twice. Just like His Grace said, paying attention to every little detail is the key to prosperity. to look after in the inf enjoy oh uh, what's there to enjoy here it's really worth watching i often stand here and observe everyone humans are just so interesting and adorable i like to watch your expressions while you work uh are you talking about pets or people oh i can see why you think that but you shouldn't jump to conclusions see we Melazines are a different species, and we see the world very differently from humans. Wait, Melazines can see that? Huh, that does sound useful for being a nurse. <sighs> yes, running around tending to everyone's health is very fulfilling, but I'd much prefer it if you take care of your body and make sure you eat well. Always, we'll definitely take care of ourselves. Thanks for the reminder. meal set. Cause Paimon shouldn't get her. What would you like to do this afternoon? Maybe we'll be able to find some leads there.
Oh, you must be the traveler, huh? Sorry, mate, but uh, competitors as strong as you are prohibited from participating. I don't make the rules, mind you, but I was given very specific instructions. Even convicts value their lives, don't they? I hope you can understand. <laughs> but we have a game here that'll let you show off your strength, and you'll even earn some credit coupons in the process. What do you think? Interested? And if we lose the game, will it cost us credit coupons? Of course. That's the cruel reality facing every competitor in a place like the Pancration Ring. Okay, great. Let me walk you through the rules. The targets in front of you will pop up one after another. You'll need to hit the targets in the same order that they popped up. If you can complete a few rounds in a row with no mistakes, then you'll win credit coupons. But the second you mess up the order, you lose. Game over. The game costs 300 credit coupons to have it go. So, you up for it? Thanks for your patronage, mate. Now, let the game begin! Your strength really shouldn't be underestimated. Now I get why you're prohibited from participating in any official. Nobody who values their life would be willing to get in the ring with you. However, you two haven't tried betting on the outcome of a Pancration match yet, have you? Just go talk to Rusimov. Buy a ticket for whichever fighter you think will win. There's a big payout if the fighter you support comes out on top. But we don't know anything about the fighters. That's normal. Just watch a few matches and get a feel for the fighters. It won't be long before you can pick winners in your sleep. He's got a point. Why don't we give it a try? If we have enough coupons, we could probably bet at random until we figure everything out. Huh. Bet at random, huh? Uh, well, how should I put it? Uh, it's not like you can't do that, but I'd advise you to give it some more thought first. Huh? We shouldn't get too carried away. What? what? I... <laughs> Never even picked a boxer before, and you already know about the rules? You're not just strong fighters. Seems you're pretty perceptive, too. <sighs> Might as well tell you about it, since you already know that much. Plus, I think you've got the potential to be one of my greatest customers. I think I can let you in a bit. Besides, I don't want to risk ever losing a customer like you. Uh, is it that serious? Okay, the hidden rule here is, if you buy both boxers' tickets and support them both, something bad will happen the next morning. So the rule is that we shouldn't pick both boxers in the same fight, but if anyone actually did that, wouldn't they be guaranteed to lose coupons? Who would do that anyway? And what do you mean by something bad will happen? How would I know? Not like I'm stupid enough to do that. But I've heard a story about the rule. According to the rumor, there was a masked boxer who possessed incredible skill and power. None of his opponents even stood a chance against him. However, in the final match, the organizers told him to take off his mask. He refused and never showed up to the fight. And after that, he was never seen again. Some say he died or that he was taken care of by the event's organizers. But everyone remembers that he was someone who cherished honor above all else. In his eyes, supporting both boxers in a match would dishonor the competition itself. 
So you mean... It's like... A curse? He'll take vengeance on anyone who does that? No. He was always wearing a mask. Like he was intentionally trying to hide his identity. I don't even know anything about his past. Traveler, do you think that boxer was... Huh? We will? You're not serious, are you? Look, here I was just trying to be nice and warn you, yet here you are trying to break it on purpose? Yeah, it sounds pretty scary to Paimon. Uh, seems you've made up your mind. Just be sure to protect Paimon, okay? Betting on both fighters will set you back about 3,000 credit coupons. If you have enough, then go ahead and give it a try. Just don't come running back to me if something happens. Aw, looks like we won't get a chance to sleep in as long as we're here. Let's get to bed early. Paimon doesn't want to get up. Paimon still feels completely exhausted from yesterday. What do you have planned for us? After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it. But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. Yeah, it's good to kick back and relax once in a while. regular meal set. Guess Paimon shouldn't get her hopes up. What would you like to do this afternoon? Sure! If we're not going to work, then let's kill some time at the pancreation ring! Hmm? Are you two here to buy tickets? Better be quick about it. Another man. Who are the boxers in the next round? We have the reigning champ, Le Grappler, versus a contender from the Eastern Prison Block, Demon Horde. Are those their nicknames, or did they choose those names themselves? Either way, super weird. Uh, since you're new around here, I'll help you out and give you a little suggestion. Even though Le Grappler is the crowd favorite, Demon Horde is a first-class dark horse with incredible potential. Anyway, for this match, I recommend that you pick... Huh? F uh, for both? I, uh, I can tell you're new to this, but maybe you don't quite understand the rules, no? Oh, no need, no need. Um, we're... All right, then. If you're... Abs yeah, yeah, we got it. Just shut up and take our coupons. <laughs> ah, we woke up so early today that Paimon's been nodding off all afternoon. Good thing it's finally time for bed. Hey, Traveler. Paimon. Package here for you. The next time you buy something, go pick it up yourself. Huh? A package? For us? Did you buy something, Traveler? <laughs> ah, Paimon's not quite awake yet, so why don't you go take a look? Alright! Yesterday we broke the hidden rule and bought tickets for both boxers! Oh, maybe this package is the bad thing that Colin said would happen. Huh? Paimon suddenly feels wide awake. Wait, maybe you let Paimon go hide somewhere first. Just call Paimon after you opened it. Hey, wait, wait! Paimon's still here! Don't open it! Ah! Huh? What is it? Are you...
Are you okay? Uh, let Paimon take a peek too. Oh, it's just a small bottle. But the color of the liquid inside looks so wrong. Almost like... Alright, that's enough of that. No need to say it out loud. Paimon already knows what you're trying to say. Ooh, no way. Get that stuff away from Paimon. Uh, Paimon thinks we shouldn't open the bottle until we figured out what's going on. Just trust Paimon in this one, okay? For us. Though it feels nice to slack off a little, less work means less coupons! meant for this world. Uh, if there's no way to send it all out, then maybe I'll never get a chance to leave. Uh, who are you? We've never seen you before, and you don't look like a- uh, I I'm not! Of course I'm not. Please, don't mistake me for a criminal. I'm a good, law-abiding citizen. Then what are you doing here? You sure seem anxious about something. I'm a promoter for Fontico, and I'm usually responsible for promoting our drink products. I thought I could complete my task here quickly and return to headquarters, but I've been here way longer than I anticipated. Oh, a promoter from Fontico? So what kind of problem did you run into? Uh, I'm so upset. It's all because of that Duke. After discussing the company's promotional plans with him, he told me outright that my project was worthless. However, in light of our long history of successful collaboration, I still tried to patiently explain the details. However, to my surprise, <clears throat> let me take a moment and recall his exact words. I'm just gonna stop you there and say no. If anything, I'm saving you time. It seems you don't fully understand the value of credit coupons here, nor do you understand the value of your own products. The former is because you are from the overworld. That's understandable, and I don't blame you for that. But as for the latter, only someone monumentally stupid, so breathtakingly stupid, that they were completely ignorant of the value of credit coupons, despite living in the underworld, would ever possibly consider buying your drink. Let's just forget it. <sighs> Anyway, that's how he rejected my proposal and asked me to come up with another solution with the condition that it doesn't cause any trouble for him. Can you believe that guy? Uh, well, he is the head honcho here. Not much you can do about that. We met him too and could tell that he's the kind of guy that's hard to pin down. Fine, fine. I know, I should just let it go. I'm on his turf after all. His house, his rules. heard you crazy fools really did it. You bought tickets to support both- Well, the next day we received a mysterious package. So it is real. You didn't become cursed or anything like that, did you? Are you both still- Uh, Paimon's not sure. What do you think, Traveler? Is Paimon still Paimon? Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Hmm, yeah, you 
two don't seem to have changed at all. But I wouldn't let your guard down just yet. Still, I didn't expect you would actually do it. You'd actually throw away coupons like that just to satisfy your curiosity? Even if we bought tickets like everybody else, it's not like we could hope to earn any coupons. When it comes to things like this, it's always the organizer who makes the real profits. Hey, just what are you trying to imply? The Pancration Ring is an honest business, and we really don't make much from selling tickets. We make so little that even the current tournaments can only be held thanks to funding from the producer of Fanta. Oh, so it's the company that manufactures Fanta sponsoring the events? Pirate Let's just say it's a mutually beneficial arrangement. They reached out to us first, hoping to... Uh, anyway, you try and take extra good care of yourselves these next few days, you hear? forms or something? Hmm, maybe not. Every page has the Fontico symbol on it. Make uh, okay. But if someone catches us, they could accuse us of trying to steal the company's secrets, couldn't they? Oh, <laughs> you're right. Guess there's nothing to worry about then. Let Paimon have a look here. Without assistance from the Fontaine Research Institute, development of the new product has been slow. And some researchers on the project have voiced concerns. We have no choice but to let the new product undergo the first phase of promotional trials without a designated name or packaging. We will adjust the direction of future development according to feedback. We have decided to only conduct closed, small-scale trials for the time being. Sure doesn't seem like anything unusual. The company is just trying to develop some new products besides Fanta. But it sounds like things aren't going well at all. Uh, let's put these papers back where we found them and make it look... Time to show me what you got!
Okay, so we've investigated two of the hidden rules. <sighs> We'd better pick up the pace with our investigation, otherwise we'll never get anywhere. Yeah, let's skip work for now and put our time... This time must mean you've already saved up a lot of credit coupons. Impressive. V so, now can you tell us about the hidden rules you know? Hmm. If that's what you want to know. Huh? What do you mean it's a good time? Leonid and those other pesky broke urchins have all gone to work in the production zone. We get it! Just tell us already! So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Don't ever ever go near them and something even more terrible a group of cannibals cannibals in the fortress of Meripede? every month they meet a few times in the dead of night rumor has it they might but what's even scarier is that since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains uh, paima might already know what you mean by other form <laughs> you two look pretty skeptical I've got things to do, too. I suggest... Traveler, can we just trust him on this one? Oh, Paimon doesn't want her blood and flesh entombed here for all eternity? Oh, so that's how you see the situation. Huh. Oh, when will all the secrets end? Here, but the <laughs> Just stay away from me. What? What are you saying? What are you talking about? Listen, you. Sh hmm. Their attitude sure is suspicious. Like they're trying to avoid us. Obvious about acting weirdly. Do you think? Oh, this is all getting way too creepy for Paimon. So you mean we still need to investigate some more? What do you want? Criminals like you ought to be working right now. Cat we just want to ask you a simple question. Have you ever discovered anything odd during your nighttime patrols? Why are you asking about something like that? Whatever happens at night isn't your concern. Uh... Well... Right! We heard it happens a few times. Really? I see. Uh, but it's not like I'm on... And now that you mention it, I recall my colleagues talking about something like that before. So, what happens at night on pipe cleaning days? And they just conduct regular cleaning of the fortress's drainage facilities. There are three pipe cleaning days per month. And it just so happens that today is one of the scheduled days. Oh, okay. Then we'll keep both ears out tonight. Now, if that's all, then I'll be leaving now. I advise you not to try anything funny, though. Don't worry, we don't want any time added to our sentences. <laughs> oh, he left. 
So what do you think about the pipe cleaning days he mentioned? Right, both are a possibility. But Fielding did say that tonight is a cleaning night. Paima knew you would say that. Alright, sounds like we'll be up all night tonight. I know you. You were the ones we. Huh. <laughs> You've got guts showing up here. You'd better leave now. Ain't nobody coming here to save you. What you say? Yeah. So what if they were? If you push us. Hey, what's the point of all those rumors anyway? I don't have to tell you anything. If you turn around, go back to the dormitory. Yeah, scram. Nothing worth seeing here. Huh? What did you say? Isn't that exactly what Boss said when he left? Hey, do you know our boss? Whoa. We had no idea our boss was such a big deal. So did he have you come here to find us? Oh, so your child's crew here? Seems like he had no problem fitting in. We're the only ones who heard him say those words when he left that night. So unless he somehow told... Hmm. All right. Wow, those dreams of yours sure come in handy. We gave him the business for a while, and we always give him a hard time when he first came to the Fortress of Maripede. But here in the Fortress, 
The strong will always earn respect. He was working the longest hours and racking up wins in the Pancration Ring. You could always see how amazing he was, even when he was teaching us a lesson. So eventually, we all decided to follow him. But one day, he suddenly told us that he had to find a way to escape this place, no matter the cost. And as his crew, if the boss wants something, then it's our job to get it done. So, we got to work, and use the hidden rules that were here to make up and spread the- We just wanted to give him a better chance of escaping, on a night after the pipes had been cleaned. Oh! Thanks to your rumor, nobody would want to come anywhere near here, prisoner or guard. But, has a child already escaped? What? Because, as far as we know, the pipe he went into isn't actually an exit. It, it leads to an abandoned factory area, and even if there were a way to escape from there into the sea, but Boss still insisted on going in, it's like he was obsessed about it. So we told him that we'd pretend as if he never existed while he was gone, and that if he wanted to come back, he should wait for night time on a pipe cleaning day. So you come and wait here through the night a few times a month? Yeah. But it's been so long now. We already know in our hearts that he must- Uh, is it also possible that something- Nothing could ever defeat Boss or slow him down. It's one thing we know for sure. Okay, okay. Paima was just brainstorming- Alright. Keep quiet and follow us. The way up from here has been sealed off. It's impossible to get through. Boss left by going down from here. It, uh, wasn't full of water at the time. Later, we came back, hoping to have a look. That's when we found out it had been completely flooded. It's impossible to navigate unless you're an extremely skilled diver. Do you think Child got trapped by the water? Not likely. We all know that Boss was an incredible swimmer. Really? Then have him come investigate, pronto! Just be sure to- It's getting late. We should leave before the guards come this way. Yeah, we learned a lot about what happened to Child here. <sighs> we finally learned some key information- When you said you knew a diver, you were talking about Fremine, right? Ugh. Why is Child like this? What was he doing going into the pipes? Fortunately, though, it seems like it's only a matter of time now that we can finally relax. I'm on starting to feel super... Ugh, it's morning already? which makes it the perfect time to do some investigating. It's been a while since we last talked. Have you been making any progress lately? Let's meet at our usual spot in the factory area before... Ooh, today's our lucky day! We have the day off! From the sound of it, Lenny's been making progress with his investigation. Wonder what he's discovered! Hmm... We still have some time before we meet up. <laughs> 